on this day. Allah is reminding you that the day when people will come out of their graves in different groups to see, to be shown their deeds. Whoever does any good as little as the weight of an atom, Allah said he will see it. And whoever does any evil, as little as the weight of an atom, Allah said he will see it. وَمَنْ يَعْمَلْ مِثْقَالَ ذَرَّةٍ شَرَّيَّرَ So my brother and my dear sister, if you understand that you will be standing before him, don't you think you shall prepare? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, الذي لم يتخذ ولدا ولم يكن له شريك في الملك وما كان معه من إله. المستحق لجميع أنواع العبادة ولذا قضى ألا نعبد إلا إياه وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له في أرضه وسمائه وأشهد أن سيدنا محمدا عبده ورسوله وصفيه من خلقه وخليله القائل أنا سيد ولد آدم ولا فخرا اللهم صل وسلم وبارك عليه وعلى آله وصحبه الأتقياء البررة وعلى من هذا هذوهم وسلك سبيلهم إلى يوم الدين وبعد My dear brother and my dear sister maybe wherever you turn the door is closed at you. You turn right, the door is closed. You turn left, the door is closed. Wherever you turn, the door is closed. Brother and my dear sister, please call upon Al Fatahu, the opener. Allah. Allah is Al Fatahu, the opener, the one who opens whatever is closed. And whenever He opens the door for you, none can close it. Ma yaftahillahu linnasi min rahmah, fala mumsika laha. Whenever He opens the door, none can withhold it. None can close that door. So put your trust in Al Fatahu, the opener. Obey him. Worship him alone. Because absolutely and no doubt, he deserves to be worshipped alone. I bear witness. And I bear witness. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, is Allah's last and final messenger. The universal messenger. All the prophets and the messengers were sent to their people, only to their people, except Muhammad Rasulullah. Indeed, we sent Nuh to his people. وَإِلَىٰ عَادٍ أَخَاهُمْ هُدًا To the people of Ad, we sent them their brother Hud. وَإِلَىٰ ثَمُودَ أَخَاهُمْ صَالِحًا And to the Thamud, the people of Thamud, we sent their brother Salih. وَإِلَىٰ مَدِيَنَ أَخَاهُمْ شُعِيبًا Musa alayhi salam, Moses was sent only to the children of Israel. Fir'aun and the children of Israel. Jesus, peace be upon him, was sent to the children of Israel. And a messenger to the children of Israel. He said, 
وإذ قال عيسى بن مريم يا بني إسرائيل إني رسول الله إليكم Remember when Jesus peace be upon him said to the children of Israel Oh children of Israel I am Allah's messenger to you But when it comes to the seal of prophethood Please listen Call يا أيها الناس الله commanded the prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم to proclaim to say it loud قل يا أيها الناس say oh humanity إني رسول الله إليكم جميعا I am Allah's messenger to you all he is the messenger, the universal messenger, a messenger to all. And because he is the messenger to all, Allah made him a mercy to all. That's why he came with peace. He came with mercy. He taught mercy. His first word when he entered Medina was a Yohannes. Salam, spread peace. وَأَطْعِمُ الطَّعَامِ And feed the poor. وَصَلُّوا بِاللَّيْلِ وَالنَّسُ نِيَامِ And pray during the night while people are praying. تَدْخُلُ الْجَنَّةَ بِسَلَامِ You will enter paradise in peace. This is the seal of the prophethood. And he is the final messenger of Allah. I bear witness. And I pray. May Allah increase his love in our heart. Allahumma ameen. My dear brother. And my dear sister. You are eating and drinking. You are enjoying, but subhanallah, it will never last. It will never last. Why? Because inna ya qawm inna ma hadhi al-hayatu dunya mata. Oh, my people. This worldly enjoyment is very little, is small, very small. Ya qawmi innama hadhihi al-hayatu dunya mata'a So whatever enjoyment and comfort that you are enjoying at this moment, eating and drinking, moving and relaxing, remember, it will never last. You move around, you are talking, one day, a day will come, my dear brother, you will be silent. You will be gone. You will fade away. Why? Because whoever is on this earth will fade. Whoever is on this earth will disappear, will die. So, you are enjoying and you are living, it will never last because la shay ayadum. Nothing lasts forever. If you understand this reminder, if you understand this introduction, then my brother, I say to you, yes and yes, you will meet Allah. This is my reminder to you today. To myself and to my beloved brothers and sisters, you will meet Allah. You will stand before Allah. I will meet Allah. You will meet Allah. We will all meet Allah. Listen to Allah. Ya ayyuhal insan Innaka kadihun ila rabbik Kadihan famulaqi Oh, human being. Innaka kadihun ila rabbik You are toiling towards your Lord. You are struggling towards your Lord. Yes, because al mu'min yakdah wal kafir yakdah. Yes, everyone, while you are busy worshiping Allah alone, someone is busy striving and struggling worshiping an idol. While you are busy coming to the masjid, you left your job running to come and worship Allah. Someone is busy going to the club. While you are busy working, looking for your sustenance, looking for halal, someone is busy looking for haram. Everyone, we are all struggling, working hard and striving. But subhanallah, 
كدح فملاقي We will meet him At the end Finally You will meet him Allah Yes And there's no doubt about it Even though some people don't believe That they will meet him Some people don't believe that they will be standing before him And subhanallah وَقَالُوا أَإِذَا كُنَّا عِظَامًا وَرُفَاتًا أَإِنَّا لَمَبْعُوثُونَ خَلْقًا جَدِيدًا They said, are you telling us that when we become bones and decayed particles, we will come back to life again? We will come back to a new life again? Allah said to them, قُلْ كُونُوا حِجَارَةً أَوْ حَدِيدًا Tell them, Ya Rasulullah, become hijara, stones or metals. أَوْ خَلْقًا مِمَّا يَكْبُرُ فِي صُدُورِكُمْ Or any creation that is too big for you, that you think there is no way Allah can bring it back to life. فَسَيَقُولُونَ مَنْ يُعِيدُنَا They will say to you, Ya Rasulullah, Okay, who will bring us back? When we become those stones and those metals, who is going to bring us back? قُلِ الَّذِي فَطَرَكُمْ أَوَّلَ مَرَّةً Tell them, the one who originated you in the first place. The one who brought you to existence from a state of non-existence. Didn't you hear? Allah said again, وَيَقُولُ الْإِنسَانِ أَإِذَا مَا مِتُّ لَسَوْفَ أُخْرَجُ حَيَّا And the human being is saying, and the disbeliever is saying, أَإِذَا مَا مِتُّ Are you telling me after death, I will come back to life again? أَوَلَا يَذْكُرُ الْإِنسَانِ Allah said, does a man not remember? أَنَّا خَلَقَنَاهُ مِنْ قَبْلُ وَلَمْ يَكُنْ شَيْئًا We created him in the first place while he was nothing. We created him in the first place while he was nothing. We brought him to existence from a state of non-existence. Remember, he created you in the womb of your mother. وَلَقَدْ خَلَقْنَا الْإِنسَانِ مِنْ سُلَالَةٍ مِنْ طِينَ ثُمَّ جَعَلْنَاهُ نُطْفَةً فِي قَرَارٍ مَكِينَ ثُمَّ خَلَقْنَا النُّطْفَةَ عَلَقَةً فَخَلَقْنَا الْعَلَقَةَ مُضْغَةً فَخَلَقْنَا الْمُضْغَةَ عِظَامًا فَكَسَوْنَا الْعِظَامَ لَحْمًا ثُمَّ أَنْشَأْنَاهُ خَلْقًا آخَرَ فَتَبَارَكَ اللَّهُ أَحْسَنُ الْخَالِقِينَ Remember? He created you from the sperm, from the semen, from the one that comes from the waist of the man and the chest of the woman. And he put you in a safe place in the womb of the mother. And he developed you. He created you stage by stage, step by step. Don't you remember? Can't you see that the one who created you this way while he was nothing can bring you back to life again? Oh, just think. Don't you think? You think it's going to be hard for him to bring you back. Allah said that is even the most easiest thing for, for me to do. To bring you back to life. So my dear brother, you will stand before Allah. You will come back. And Allah called those who deny meeting him losers. قَدْ خَسِرَ الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِلِقَاءِ اللَّهِ Indeed, losers are those who deny meeting Allah. You will meet Him. We will meet Allah. We will stand before Allah. All. عَنْ حَاتِمِ بْنِ عَدِيٍ قَلْ قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ما منكم من أحد إلا سيكلمه ربه ليس بينه وبينه ترجمان. The companion of the Prophet Hatim ibn Adi, the son of Adi, he said, the messenger of Allah peace be upon him said, all of us, each and every one of of us. Will stand before Allah. Will talk. Allah will talk to him directly. 
without any mediator direct. And when the person looks right to him, فَلَا يَرَى إِلَّا مَا قَدَّمَ مِنْ عَمَلِي When you look right, you will see nothing except what you have presented, what he had done. When he looks left, he see what he has done. He looks forward, he sees the hellfire. فَاتَّقُ النَّارُ وَلَوْ بِشِكِّ تَمْرَهُ the Prophet wasallam said, protect yourself from the hellfire even by giving, if it's by giving half a date fruits as a charity. As a charity. Because you will stand before Allah. We will stand before him. Do you know when? When the earth is shaking in its final shaking. And the earth brings out its burdens. All those buried in the earth will come out. And the human being will say, what is going on to the earth today? What happened? Why is it shaking today? On that day, it will tell, it will narrate, it will give its news. Whatever happened on the earth, on that day, the earth will bring it out. Why? Because your Lord has inspired the earth to speak. Don't be surprised. The one who made it easy for you to talk, the one who created you will make the earth speak. What I did, the earth will bring it out. What you did, the earth will bring it out. And you will be standing before Allah and Allah will tell you every single act. Allah will tell you everything because he is Al Alimu, the All Knowing. He knows what had passed, He knows what is happening, and He knows what will happen in future because He is Allah, and you will be standing before Him. But remember, as we keep going, at the same time, he is al-adlu, he is just. Subhanah. He is just, he never cheats anyone. He never wrongs anyone. He is just. And one of his attributes is al-adlu, the just. The impartial Allah. We will stand before him. All of us. Yes. And this is the absolute truth. So my brother, on this day, Allah is reminding you that The day when people will come out of their graves in different groups to see, to be shown their deeds. Whoever does any good, as little as the weight of an atom, Allah said he will see it. And whoever does any evil, as little as the weight of an atom, Allah said he will see it. So my brother and my dear sister, if you understand that you will be standing before him, don't you think you should prepare? Don't you, don't you think you should get yourself prepared because each and everything will be brought right in front of you. As Allah said, no matter how small it is, Allah said, I will bring it back. 
you will see it. With this, my dear brothers and sisters in faith, on that day, Allah said, each and every one of us will see his deeds on his neck. Just the way I'm having this scarf on my neck, you will be carrying your deeds on your neck. Your deeds tied on your neck, and it will be said to you, Ikara kitabak, read your book. Ikara kitabak, read your book. Kafa binafsika liyawm alayka hasiba. But subhanallah. My dear brother, this is a day that Allah reminds you, He reminds us. He reminds us that no doubt about it, it will come. And whoever hopes to meet Allah, Allah wants to meet him. Do you want to meet Allah? Whoever hopes meeting Allah, whoever wants to see, wants to meet Allah, is happy with this meeting. He, wa he wants to see Allah. Why? Listen. Allah's appointed time will come and there's no doubt about it. It's coming. But man ahabba liqa Allah ahabba Allahu liqa wa man kariha liqa Allah kariha Allahu liqa whoever hopes meeting Allah whoever is happy to meet Allah Allah said, I am waiting for you. So my dear brother and my dear sister, Allah is waiting for us. Allah is waiting for you. And subhanAllah, I will tell you, some people will be special on that day. Aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfir. Alhamdulillahi wa kafa. Wassalamun ala ibadihi alladhina astafa. My brothers and sisters in faith, we will all meet Allah. We will stand before Allah. And there's no mediator between you and Allah. And Allah will speak to you directly. And I said, some people will be special on that day. Some people will be special on that day. They will have whatever they desire. They will have whatever they desire, whatever they wish for, whatever they want. Listen, who are those people? Can you guess? وَذَلِكَ جَزَاءُ الْمُحْسِنِينَ And that is the reward of the good doers. اللهم اهدنا وهدي بنا وجعلنا سببا لمن اهتدى اللهم اعز الاسلام والمسلمين اللهم اعز الاسلام والمسلمين لا حول ولا قوة الا بالله العلي العظيم اللهم اغفر لابائنا وامهاتنا واجدادنا وجداتنا برحمتك يا رحمة من رب العالمين اللهم رب لنا اولادنا اللهم ارزقهم حب القران وحب السنه وحب المساجد برحمتك يا رحمة من رب العالمين وصل اللهم وسلم وبارك على عبدك ونبيك محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين وقوموا الى صلاتك ويرحمكم الله and don't forget, brothers and sisters, it's Friday. Always send salutations.